Okay, so here's the stock for the X bearing mount. And uh, I have the bearings in here like so. I'm going to have to take some threads off here and trim this up. I'm going to uh, get rid of the hub here. And that will go on like so. And then now all that will fit in there like sort of like that of course this will be slid on of course but uh, that's that's what the plan is uh, it's four inches wide by two inches or excuse me four inches long by two inches wide and an inch and a half thick I'm gonna just clean the edges up and then uh, it'll look something like this. And go up like so. And then like this, we'll have a pocket. And the bearing will go down in into the pocket. This pocket will come down about one inch thick and then the bearings will sit down into a small pocket here and another bearing in a small pocket on the front side and then this will sit you know in there like that and we'll have another one down mounted down here so this will uh, see if I can show you this will be in sort of like this like so and then the uh, jam nuts will keep the everything tight and then the pulley will be on I'm gonna take this hub off and drill and tap some holes for these two set screws inside the teeth there there's plenty of meat there to do so and uh, you can buy these without the hub but I didn't because I wasn't sure oh, so it'll go on there like so okay so let's get started milling that all right well this is my X axis bearing mount and going to have a pulley uh, inserted in here like so going down to the stepper motor and onto another pulley but I've got it drawn up. This is a uh, Fusion 360. Um, I used it on the uh, my last project, and so I'm going to try to use it again here. This will be the first time I'm using it on uh, the G0602 project. But you can see there's the uh, pocket for the bearing, uh, the bearing pocket, and on the mounting holes this is at the back the top uh, and then there's the front so we'll be doing an adaptive clearing to clear this out and we've actually got uh, four different setups I've got uh, the front will be milling it like this uh, the back will be milling like this uh, the bottom will be milling like so just to do the side clearance here and then of course the top will be milling uh, straight on so uh, let's get started okay I'm just going to do a little side clearing and get this to uh, 4 inches
come back later. Back and we're gonna notch it like this and remove this material so that we can put a, uh, a side piece on there. All right, we're gonna start by milling the back. We got a pocket pocket we're gonna mill and uh, two mounting holes. Okay, that's a good fit. I'm happy with that fit. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're working on the front. Uh, this was the back originally, and then uh, I messed up and changed out my end mill and put a fresh one in after I had checked my bearing and I had forgot to recheck it. And so this was just a little loose. Uh, Rather than edit this mistake out, I thought I'd let you see because there is an alternative. Uh, just flip it over and make it the front because the front is going to be cut out like so and it's going to go down about one inch and then we're going to redo the pocket down at the one inch mark so it's really not a big deal. Uh, Go ahead and machine the back first, make all your checks, uh, double checks, and then when you flip over, you should be okay. All right, so now we're going to machine the front, and we're going to be doing adaptive clearing.
Okay, what I just did was I just machined the hole that goes all the way through and I paused it and stopped it. I want to make sure that this hole is directly in line with the hole that I did on the back side. The most important thing is to have the bearing on top uh, directly in line with the bearing on the bottom. So now we can continue on with the pocket since we are lined up. This bearing should just drop in. Just a little bit of effort, it should just drop right in. Yeah, I think it's going to go in there good. All right. So now, uh, all that's left to do is uh, the bottom. We need to make a setup and do this. We we'll cut about an eighth of an inch. And then we're going to come back and do the top. Okay, I've got the first two operations complete. I milled out the front and the back for the bearings and the pocket for to bolt it on. So now, before I go any further and put any more time uh, into this piece, I want to make sure that it's right. So I bolted it up. And I want to verify that my ball nut and my ball screw, the ball screw is parallel and the ball nut is going to be in the center of my slot. Uh, if it's not in the center and it's uh, you know crooked one way or other, depending on how far out it is, uh, I'm either going to have to redo the piece or maybe I can shim it. Uh, shimming under the bolt holes back here uh, with a piece of uh, sheet metal or something some real thin shim whatever you need uh, but this one as you can see I've got it just the way I want it and um, now I can go ahead and start machining the top and the sides I'm gonna have a piece come down like so so I want to machine the sides as well. All right, so let's let me get started working on that. All right, so now we're going to move.
Okay, I went ahead and surfaced the top and the sides are done. We've got a little easy, uh, just a eighth inch radius right here. And I think that'll be enough. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the logo on. Looks good. Turned out good. I really like that uh, engraver. Works really well. Okay, so I'm debating whether or not to put any directional indicators here. I already put them on the side of the Z axis. So I think I'm just going to leave it blank right here. Um, I don't want to get too much going on up here. All right, so now I just need to flip this over, and I'm going to put a. I'm just going to put an edge right here, like this, and that is to recess the sides. The sides are going to be a one eight uh, flat stock uh, and they'll just go you know like so but it's going to be recessed these are quarter inch it's going to be just one eighth stuff all right Nobody's going to see that. It's not a big deal. Uh, there you go. Got the nice edge right here. And uh, pretty much done with this piece. So let me put it in. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so we got it mounted and looking pretty good um, again make sure that uh, it's centered in your slot and if you need to make yourself some shims a uh, good shim material is a soda can uh, it's real thin you can double it up uh, just fold it over and if you have to put a shim in here uh, shim it so I've got it just where I want it. Pretty much dead center. It's not going to hit on the top or the bottom. Uh, it'll slide all the way back and forth. I haven't decided if I'm going to have it this way or if I'm going to turn it this way. Um, I'll decide that later. Uh, if I go, I can go all the way out to here. I've got extra. I 
specifically made this a little long because I wasn't sure. Uh, got to trim this off and of course going to have um, my side plates on here. They're going to be just some 2 inch, 1 8 inch uh, stock and they'll just go down like so. And then on the front here I'll have a plate to hold my stepper. Like so. And uh, so that'll be good. It'll be down somewhere around here, and I'll have a belt between them. Uh, that's the plan. Anyhow, I don't know where my pulley is. Let me get my pulley. Still got to do some work on my pulley. I'm going to turn this, uh, cut this hub off, and put the set screws in the center of the pulley. Uh, but the belt will go around the pulley like so and then slide on the shaft like so uh, I gotta trim down it's gonna go all the way under, under there but um that'll be good alright so in the next video I think this is enough information for one video in the next video, uh, video I will finish up the rest of the X mount uh, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.